My name is Anthony and I graduated from the Actual Science course in Heritage World uh, in 2015 June. Uh, I'm currently working for Hymas Robertson in the investment department. Hymas Robertson uh, is a pension consultant and I'm currently working in the Edinburgh office. Uh, in terms of investment, we help pension funds reach their investment goals. So I chose to study actuarial science in Heritage uh, because Harriet Watt has a really rich history of teaching uh, in actuarial science. In fact, it's the oldest university in terms of its actuarial course. They've been teaching it for the longest. Um, one of the important things is that Harriet Watt gives you 8 out of the 15 exemptions. Um, so as an actuary, you need to do 15 exams before you qualify. If you do actuarial science and do well, you'll get 8 of that exemption and that'll give you a really good head start. Um, in your career. So yeah, I work in Hyman's Robertson in the investment department in the Edinburgh office. Um, Hyman's Robertson has offices in Edinburgh, Glasgow, Birmingham and London. So we advise pension schemes. We are a pension consultant and uh, specifically what I do is help uh, analyze asset performance. So what that means is that we help the pension schemes money to grow and so that they don't get run out of money for the pensioners so they have enough money for uh, paying pensioners now and in the future. So I specifically chose Harriet Watt because of the rich, rich history of the teaching and uh, the oldest university to start teaching actuarial science first. But the other thing beside the exemption the other thing is the lecturers and um, the lecturers are very engaging and that's one of the most important things I felt uh, that I got from the course was the interest and the enthusiasm towards actuarial science. And that's developed from the engaging lecturers. They were giving us tutorial problems uh, that's applicable to the real world. And that really started getting me thinking about how mathematics can apply to real world and how many different areas uh, actuarial science can go into. And so you're not restricted in a certain area that usually traditional actuaries would go into and these lectures really showed us um, that you can do a lot more than you would think with maths. So the BSc in Actuarial Science in Harrow uh, can give you 8 exemptions out of the 15. Um, 8 exemption is more than half of what you need to qualify as an actuary. Uh, so that's not only good for um, knowledge and a head start, it also makes you more employable because during the application stage and the interview stage, it allows you to talk about really technical stuff and topical issue. Uh, you have this depth of knowledge that you get from your classes and your lecture and other people who do not study actual science simply just don't have these knowledge and the insight. And also there are things that you can get involved with outside your academic life. Um, Here it was a great place for you to expand your horizon, essentially. Uh, for me, I got involved with creating the Chinese Society, and I also got involved with organizing events for Christian Union. Um, these all develop your soft skill. Um, so creating the Chinese Society, that's organization, communication. Organizing event means working in deadlines, working with time limits, and you, if you mix all that in, with your academic life, you start to learn how to time manage. And all these different soft skills makes you really employable. Um, so especially during the assessment center, you're able to communicate articulately um, to other people in the group. Um, when you're doing writing tasks, perhaps, um, or different tasks mixed together, you're able to keep it within the time limit and able to finish your task on time. And these are the skills that the employers are really looking for. Uh, so I took a year out between my third and fourth year and I worked for a mutual life insurer called Royal London and that was near Manchester. And so for those of you who are watching this video now, uh, you will be able to get a diploma in industrial training if you take a year out. Um, for me, the year out was really important. It got me to where I am today. Um, things that I took from the year out are some of the soft skills that I'm mentioned like communication, um, working in a team, and more importantly, act as a professional and how to speak professionally. 
And also one of the main things was that it was a really fun year out. Uh, I was able to apply everything that I've learned the first three years into my job. And you'll be amazed how much of the things we learn, all the little details um, you actually use in your job and you'll be using in years to come as an actuary. So besides studying, I got involved with uh, Christian Union, I organized events for them and I also created the Chinese Society and hopefully that's still there now that I have left. Uh, so things um, you do, like these kind of things, society things, you do develop your soft skills such as communication, uh, organizing and time management as well and just meeting new people, these social skills you pick up are very very important and it makes you employable as well. Uh, one of the main thing I thought was that Doing all these activities and studying at the same time uh, is very hard and you learn to time manage and these, is, these are essential for assessment center when you have to communicate with other people and you have to give and do a lot of work uh, in a specific time period and these make you stand out essentially in your application stage. So some advice uh, about studying a hair a lot, especially the actual science, is just put the time in, do your work when you're given it. When I was when I started, I was told that I have to do 40 hours of studying, including lecture time. So that's pretty much a full-time job. So you should be studying full-time. And so study hard and put a lot of time to it. Um, and I suppose you get what you put in. Uh, that's academic and extracurricular. Um, Things, the more things you do outside, the more soft skill you build up and the more employable you are. And also, if you put more time in studying, you get better grades because you know the stuff better. It's obvious, but do it. So I would recommend Edinburgh because it is a beautiful city. I remember taking a day trip here when I was about 15. And in the car, I saw meadows and offer seat. And I just thought, this is really really beautiful I don't see anything like this in the other cities in the world and I just thought to my head I, I want to be here and I want to study here and five years on I'm still here and the weather isn't too bad as well